Hi everyone. Um, today I'm going to show you how to create DSO, the data storage object. Um, Login to your system. So I'll do it on the name. Starts from the beginning. So log in to your system. Put your user name. Password. Ah, let's say one. No session call. Press enter. Because um, DSO is um, info provider data target, so we have to go to info provider. And this is my info area. Um, so if I right click on my info area, it's going to give me the option of create data storage object, which is info provider. Click this. Give the new intervention. Yes, so yes, so clients, you don't have to copy um, from anywhere because we're just creating a new DSO. Press create button. Now, as you can see, you have data fields and key fields. Select Info Object Catalog because from here you can enter the fields to um, key fields and data fields. The characteristics. You can put characteristics in both uh, data fields and key fields. I put client city in key field, and I'm going to put client address in data fields. So Characteristics you can put in both key fields and data fields. Now just go and select key figures. Key figures is only going to go to data fields. So Keep in mind that in key figure you can only put characteristics, no key figures, and in data fields you can put both characteristics and key figure. For example, if I try to put this key figure in key fields, it's not gonna allow me to do this. Have a look. But if I put the same key field in data field, it should be alright. So as you can see this, I have two characteristics in the data field, one in key field, and I have two key fi figures in data field. Once you've done this, the standard DSO, let's go to activate, activation, press activate. And it's taking some time, but your DSO should be ready. ready. It's taking some time, so. As you can see, your DSO is ready. Everything on screen here. That's your DSO. That's the naming convention of DSO. All you have to do, as I have mentioned in my first video, when you when I was loading a flat file, uh, 
to InfoQ, all you have to do now just go to data source and from here do a just do a transformation to uh, DSO and run the DTP. Should be right. Just follow the same steps. Um, if you have to start from the beginning, just create data source, um, then info package, and then do a transformation from your data source to DSO and run a DTP. Hopefully, it's helped you out, guys. Um, if anything else, uh, you can watch my other videos or you can email me position underscore sabbl at hotmail.co.uk. Thank you very much for watching this.